Come to the shipyard. Come to the Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna use the sail. Forget this. Let's let's open the sail back. Oh wait, there it goes, there it goes. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Worlds Adrift episode 18. Last episode, we had just crossed two wind walls. We went into a tier one zone, decided to bonk on that, and hopped into this tier two zone so that we could hopefully find more green schematics and higher knowledge caches. Wow, look at that island down there. There's some really neat islands in this area, and I I want to catch them all, you know, uh, but we're going to have to start one at a time. I'm thinking... That one's right ahead of us. We have this like little archipelago over there that looks neat. We have that down there that looks really neat. I wish I had like a, a viewing glass that I could like zoom in and kind of like a telescope, you know. But we're going to say adieu to this island. We didn't really find a whole lot here. This island was really neat, but it seemed to not have as much knowledge, as many knowledge giving items as other islands and I think I think we're just we're going to actually head over here to this island since it's level with our altitude and it will require the least maneuvering or at least it will if I don't keep inducing oscillation into our flight path okay we'll go ahead and oh we got a fuel gauge I forgot about that I can look at the fuel the fuel is doing fine Wonderful, so we'll wave goodbye to our island there into the double wind walls. I guess I should stay on the helm and look at that island underneath it there. I don't know, maybe we should go to that island. I think that island is closer. Oh do we change plans? Do we? I just don't want to forget about that island. I don't want to get far away from it and then forget about it and have it be obscured by fog. It does look pretty neat. No, we're going to stay the course. We've got the wind in our hair, or rather the wind in our cowl. And actually, yeah, we should be at the helm as the island loads or we're going to get we're going to get knocked off of it. Well, no, no, don't roll. Don't roll. That's fine. Where are we at? 78 on the fuel, 77. Not the not the most convenient place for the fuel gauge, but our ship is still sort of rickshaw. It's not really It's not really the the nice tier 2 ship that it should be, that it could be. More I'm waiting for some better schematics. Right, we're waiting for let's see. We have a couple of really good wings. Pivot speed 20, that's what I care about. 22, 23, that's a nice one. This one's 2118, that's a pretty good wing compared to what we are using now. Streamlined blade, we could probably use that. The engines, I'm not super excited about what we have. Power 22, power 16, and we're currently using... I believe we're currently using the... But look, some of these... Some of these tier one engines have power 23, so we've we're definitely getting better stats, but I'm looking for significantly more power for my engines. Looks like that is the storm wall there in the distance, and this is the wind wall back into the tier one zone. The storm wall, of course, will lead us to a tier three zone, which is nothing that we're ready for yet. Ooh. Hold on. Woo. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a shipyard. Really? All right. Let's anchor ourselves. Oh, did you want to talk for a little bit? How come I can't select my gun? What's going on here? There we go. Why don't you, why don't you get off? You're not welcome here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, now give me the Manta steak. I know you're holding out on me. Wow, it's like dinner brought to us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
No, this is not going to be good. I'm getting wrapped around everything. This is going to be bad. Hold on. I'm just going to... Oh, no! No! Oh! Should have been on the helm. Ah! And they're beating up the personal reviver. Oh, look, we're going to land almost on the island. We almost landed on the island. We were pushed sort of wildly off course. Uh, it looks like the mantas have left us alone at least. The engines have stopped. They took out our our fuel thing. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, well, this is exactly the reason why we have a sail for just such an emergency. Hopefully the sail is in good shape. Looks like it is. Let's go ahead and unfurl it. There we go. Oh, look, all right. Looks like the wind is going to be working with us a little bit. Let's nose down. We'll pull the engines back. And we're going to make landfall over here. Replace our fuel tank for our engines. We'll replace our fuel tank and... I think I'm going to move the personal reviver forward, probably up here on the side, and then we're probably going to mount this cannon off of the front onto the back. I don't plan on being very aggressive and pursuing anyone. More, the, more often than not, we're going to be fleeing and or shooting behind us, so I think that just makes sense to have the cannon in the back here. I felt like I had a panel back here to protect us, but I suppose I did not. In any event, the cannon should help us dramatically. When it comes to situations like what we just went through, I am tired of being at the mercy of these mantas. I'm pretty convinced that we're not going to get a better personal firearm than our basic pistol. I think that's about as good as it gets, so we're just going to have to rely on the cannon to defend ourselves from airborne threats. Okay, let's steady up the nose, and let's just keep the Atlas core coming down at this point. And see if we can see a shipyard. I already see a knowledge cache. That's very uh, assuring. No, let's 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 furl up the sail. We're we're over the island now. We don't need to we don't need to drift anymore. This is good. I feel like I've already lost visibility on that island we were looking at. I don't think that was it. I think it was over here, but that might have been it. Either way, here we are. I think we're going to drift right over top of this. Whoa, wait a second. That fire is burning. That is an active campfire. We might not be alone here. Oh, there's a shipyard over there. Let's... Are we going to be able to get there with our sail? Maybe. All right, I've changed my mind. Unfurl the sail. And we're going to rotate over and head to the shipyard. Headed in the right direction. Almost. Come a little bit more to the right. I've seen a couple of knowledge caches already. That's pretty neat. Uh, we might impact this this rock here if we're not careful. In fact, yeah, let's Atlas core up. All right, I think we're going to clear it. All right, let's assess any damage that we may have. Any panels damaged? Requires oak to repair the personal reviver. Birch and elm. Tell me we have some oak. Thank goodness. Or was it this flooring? Okay, so the personal reviver, I guess, is okay. It was the floor that got damaged. Uh, very well. That's, that's fine. 
see if any other flooring pieces got damaged. That one also requires oak. Okay, well, I should have just held on to the oak if that was the case. All right, let's do this. Anywhere else damaged? Here? There? What about up here? Oh, yep, there we go. That needs to be repaired. Ooh, a good bit, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, stop, 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 stop. The wind is just taking us away. Okay, stop. We need to go down. I'm just going to command the Atlas Core to just straight descend for now. All right, we'll leave it in the down position while we continue our repairs. Wow, this panel got damaged really heavily. It might not be the prettiest and uh, best put together ship, but it is our ship. It's the best one we've got. So we're going to take good care of it and maintain it. And move that cannon to the back. Wow. It's going to take a lot of oak. There we go. Repair completed. What about here? Nope. You look to be fine. Engine. Okay. We're still descending fairly close to the shipyard. But we can go ahead and start looking at other repairs. Engine. The wing. How's the wing looking? The wing appears to be fine. What about that wing? That wing is fine. It's hard to tell when the wings look so uh, ramshackle. That active campfire is concerning. We're going to take command of this shipyard, though. Is that a person? No, those are those are creatures. Wow. Those look like giant pine cones. What are those? Hmm, that's interesting. All right, let's see if we can lower ourselves down. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Okay, let's take control of this shipyard. Please be in good shape. You've taken ownership of this abandoned shipyard. All right, well, now we need to stop the Atlas Core. Oh, before we bottom out. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. That's not good. Okay, let's let's get on the helm and straighten this out, shall we? Okay, just just right yourself a little bit. We're so close to the shipyard, really. Can't I just pull you over top of the shipyard? I think I can. Let's let's do that. No, it doesn't doesn't really want to get pulled over here. Oh, it it sort of is though. Come on. You're so close. You can do it. I believe in you. Is it moving this direction? It looks like it is. I need to keep my my eyes open for this for whoever lit that campfire. They could still be here. Come on. Come to the shipyard. Come to the Okay, we're just going to we're just going to use this sail. Forget this. Let's let's open the sail back. Oh wait, there it goes. There it goes. Voila! Let's get ourselves 30 knowledge right there. Boom! I love it. I love it. Alright, what about you? Are you functioning? Yes. Okay. Before we do any of that... Or, wait, no. Uh... 
I don't see anybody's ship here. All I see is that fire, so common sense says if their ship isn't here, they've probably gone. Alright, let's move you there. And then we'll move the personal reviver here, and the cannon will go pointing right out the back. Right, come on. Right here. That'll work. And now we can shoot pursuers, be they pirates or creatures of the air. Wonderful. Now, let's make ourselves another fuel area, which that's going to be a little tight back here. Maybe we should move the cannon over just a scotch this way. Okay. And let's get our... Do I want to use my resources, though? I mean, we're here on this island. I think what we'll do is we'll gather other resources. Let's let's do that. This place is full of palm trees, which is really neat. Can we salvage any of this? No, but we can salvage this for palm. Hmm. Which we know... Alright, I thought I heard somebody. I'm a little paranoid. Uh, we know from the description that I read on the palm that we found that it is the heaviest but the most useful wood. So that seems uh, pretty handy. I don't know if that's what we're going to want to use for our fuel area. But it's an option. We are going to need to get more fuel, of course. Uh, but I think all the wood here is going to be palm. Mm. Oh. Oh my. And it looks like the chests are resetting on this level. That's really great. Okay, so if the chests are resetting, then that means we should go do that now before somebody else shows up. It's not my shipyard. All right, let's let's put this let's put the salvaging and the I'm sorry the resource harvesting on hold for a moment, and let's look for these chests that just repopulated their wares. We'll come back to harvest stuff a little later. There's bound to be something hidden in these little nooks and crannies. I like this sandy palm island though. This is uh, this is pretty neat. It's like another shipyard over here that's been left. Let's go over here and check out this campfire. And there's obviously no one here, and there's really not any ruins either. But that's two knowledge caches already, and they're kind of out in plain view. They're not even really hidden. Hmm... That does make me wonder about where these chests would be. If there are even chests here. Uh, well, here's something. Bullets? Yeah, I'll take all that. Let's salvage you. Tin? I'm good with that. I'm going to get fuel just because it's here and we need it. Okay. This is actually a really good island to get fuel on because it doesn't appear to go flying off into the horizon when you... Whoa. Wow, somebody had a pretty serious engine. I wonder what this is made of. Bronze and elm? Okay, well, thanks for that. Another knowledge cache. They're just kind of littered all over this area with no discernible structure or identifying mark to guide you over to them. Just It's just, oh, surprise, hi, there's a knowledge cache. Three of them, that's 90 knowledge so far. 
That's very good. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to open these smaller chests. Uh, chestnut, I'm going to take it because it's a resource. And then we can always destroy that. Very good. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of pants. I mean, do you really need... Do you really need all these different pants? Adventurer's boots, wrapped leggings. Okay, let's see what those look like. No, don't rotate. Equip. Um, no, no, I'm not not a fan of that. I I like the way we look currently. All right, so we're just gonna keep looking for. Oh, these trees are cut down. Is there somebody else here hopping around without a ship because their ship got messed up? Correct me if I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm mistaken, but don't all the resources on the island reset after a lightning storm? Including including trees? Wouldn't that mean that those trees had to be cut down since the lightning storm? Surely not. Surely if there was somebody else here, I would have seen them by now, right? I don't know, this is a pretty neat island, despite its lack of structures. It's got this weird rock cave-looking thing in the center of the island. There doesn't appear any way to get to the interior of the island. Oh, wait, hush my mouth, what's over here? Alright, let's just take a peek. Mm-hmm. That absolutely looks like an island interior. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my. Oh, wow. So there is absolutely an interior to this island. Look at all this stuff. I'm looking for movement. If somebody was hiding out here, I don't want to be surprised by them. Wow. Well, I guess we could start to scan some of these plants and see... Nope, we've already gained knowledge from that one. Have we scanned all these? Almost feels like we have. No knowledge. Already gained. I think these are all things we've scanned before. Uh, what about these... Oh, yeah, stalactites. Well, they're all the... Even though they're different sizes, they're all the same stalactite. Okay, well, we got a stalactite. Oh, fuel? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Thank you very much for that. All right, let's, let's find the chest. I'm sure there's going to be one of those nice golden chests down here that we can hopefully get a new schematic out of. This island is pretty neat. If I had a more maneuverable skyship, you could just bring your you could bring your ship right in here and park it. That would be cool. Then you'd almost kind of be hidden. What is this over here? Somebody's torch. Hmm. We definitely got to this island immediately after somebody. It just doesn't look like they're still here. Ooh, watch yourself, watch yourself. I'm also not seeing any kind of chests, which are a little disturbing. This 
saw the saw the lightning strike the island right after we got here, and I got really excited. I thought surely that meant we were gonna get some goodies. Now I'm not so sure. This whole underside seems to be kind of devoid of everything. Hmm. Oh, somebody stayed here for a while. Let's check these. Negative. Uh, what do we got? Mantis steak. No, I know that. Medium panel. Thuntamite steak. Okay. All right. Not nothing of value. Or at least nothing that we, we don't already know. Hmm. So we've gotten to this underside. Oh, here it is. Right out here in plain view. Some knowledge and a trunk. Uh, I'm almost positive we know the trunk. Right. Okay, well, we got 15 knowledge from that. Let's take a look at our knowledge, speaking of. Oh, and we do have enough for the next engine. 320, let's do that. Boom. Reliant Cranker E1. Fuel efficiency, similar power to the other ones. Hmm. Well, I suppose that is the way of it. But that chest really blends in and is hard to see there. That means there could be more chests all over the place here, and I wouldn't see them until I'm right up on them. That's somewhat concerning. I think with all the knowledge caches on the surface, though, that this actually isn't going to be an area with a lot of chests. Oh, hello. And it's these little tiny openings here. All right. There we go. Not so bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. All right, let's swing under. And then we'll just we'll pull up on this side. All right, I'm starting to get a little bit of latency, which is making me think there's a person nearby. Let's go ahead and crawl up the side here. Let's just be ready. I haven't seen anybody yet, but we're going to be ready. Hmm. Oh, look at that island down there. Lots of really neat islands in this zone. Of course, there's always neat islands in every zone, so sort of a sort of a non-statement. Come on! No, don't let me fall into the abyss. Even though it's just a tiny little pit, I'm paranoid. No, let me out. There we go. Okay. Well, my ship is still here. That's a good start. Uh, let's see what kind of metal is here. If this island is covered in palm, it might be a, a neat little metal here, too. Or perhaps palm is the is the neat thing here. I'm not sure. Lead. Well, we do need some of that for when we need to make our own shipyard. We'll get ourselves another atlas shard. I'm happy with that. Suppose we should spend some time gathering some more lead. And then we'll grab some metal off our ship. We'll make a new fuel tank for our engines. I dare say we'll be on our way. I can't see much of a reason to stay here. 
this island comes across to me as more of a resource island by the distinct lack of structures. Oh, hello. That looks like something. Let's see what this is. Not this fuel, though, but we're going to get this fuel, too. How are we doing for fuel? 941, that's what I like to see. What do we have here? Oh, that was a, a metal node. I swear somebody's here. Hmm. Eh, perhaps not. Perhaps I'm just overthinking it. There's no ship, so if they are here... Okay, well that's more of an easier way to get down into the uh, underbelly of the island. I think we found all the knowledge caches that are floating around, although... There is one side of the island we haven't gone to, so we should head over there. And go check that out. I'd really like to find some more upgrades for my Atlas core, because if we can't get engines with a better power rating than what we have, then we just need more engines so that we can we can travel faster. All right, let's let's see what we have in here. Copper. Okay, that's that's a good metal. I'm I'm good with that. And we're going to stock up on our Atlas cores. Oh. I don't think that one gave me an Atlas core, huh? I thought for sure all the uh, metal rocks, or the ore nodes, gave gave atlas cores. I suppose not. Ooh, steel. Wow, you don't even have to make steel. You just find raw steel on the island. That's that's pretty crazy. Not iron, but full-blown steel. Purification process be darned. We just mine steel right out of the ground. Nickel. Okay, so while all the trees seem to be palm, the metal is a hodgepodge of many different kinds. I almost prefer that. I'm sure I won't later in the game when I'm looking to make everything out of the same material, but for now, hodgepodge is fine. Looks like somebody left their ship here. Let's destroy you, and I guess we'll save the stake. The palm can all be stacked. The elm can be stacked. And then... Birch, ash, cedar. We'll see what we need when we get back. Another broken node? No, no, no. This is a rock formation we can scan. Already scanned it. Okay. I wonder if there's something on the top of that rock that I overlooked in my haste to get to the shipyard. Wow. Look at that view. Oh, this game really is something else. Between the music and the view, sometimes I'm just, I'm just in awe. Oh, do you see it? Do you see what I see? I see it. I see it. Railing, tube shooter. Um. Oh, that's a. Mm, no, we'll. Okay, we'll just we'll take it all. We'll put it in a chest. We'll be we'll be nice. Stairs. Bar pipe. Oh, interesting. Railing. I'm pretty sure we know that one. Yes. And then, what is this? Traveling writings. We'll read that one. 
What do we have here? Campfire. We know how to make a campfire. Thank you. Hmm. Just chests sort of sporadically thrown around all over the place. It's interesting. I think we'll collect some more palm. Collect some more palm and then we're gonna get ready to leave. Woo, I know it's less dangerous to shoot the tree at the top first. Ooh, case in point. But I like to live dangerously sometimes. I just, I, it's fun trying to shoot the tree up while it's falling. I like that. We'll just harvest all this up. Getting a lot of resources so that when we finally get what we're looking for for our next build, we're going to have everything we need to make it grand. Okay, all of this palm can be combined. And looks like we got another little chest over here, and I think that'll do it. More bullets, okay. Birch, uh, you know what, let's just take it all. Alright, last stop before we're out and ready to sign off at the end of the episode is we're going to check the top of this rock and then make our fuel tank and then disengage from this island. I didn't see anything up there when we went overhead, but I was in a hurry and I was focused on the shipyard, so... I was sort of out of sorts because we lost our fuel tank and I panicked for half a second till I remembered that's why we have a sail. Yep, and it does look like this... Ooh, look out! That was quite a jump. Wow, look at that island from here. That island is oh, really neat looking from here. That's the one we just came from. Although I don't know why I told you. I'm, sh I'm sure that uh, you guys know. I, I'm still, still figuring this game out a lot. And I feel like just when I've got a good handle on things, there's more that I'm unaware of. So I appreciate all of the advice and tips that I've received. And I'll stop acting like I'm trying to teach you guys about anything. Because that's just silly. Alright, we're going to come down and... Ooh, watch out. Alright, so we'll make our fuel tank. We'll dock it on the ship. And then we're going to be ready to get out of here. We'll have our engines running again. Let's make sure this engine is fully repaired while we're here. Looks like it is. Okay. All right. So let's make ourselves a power generator. That's what I'm looking for. Casing, piping. Hmm. I think we'll make the casing out of lightest material around but susceptible to damage. Lightweight but versatile, especially hard given its medium weight. Elm. Winter, winter chicken dinner. And then copper. Relatively hard for its weight but also flexible. Craft. Thank you. Oh, oh no, no, no. Come come up here with me. Come on. Um rotate like that. Uh, sort of. Maybe a little bit more to the edge, perhaps? Like that. Oof. Easy on the frame. Do we need to repair the frame? What's going on here? Okay, just making sure. 
Now we shall refuel. Boom, 100 units of fuel. We still have quite a bit. Now I'm going to sort my inventory off camera before I sign out, but that's going to be the end of the episode where we wrap things up. This island, pretty neat, mostly resources. I'm going to remember this in case we decide we want to come back for a lot of this palm. Only because it says it is the most useful wood. So that's pretty neat because this island is just full of it. But that is the end of the episode. So this has been Worlds Adrift, episode 18. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time as we advance on to the islands. I think we're going to round robin around these islands. We're going to probably just keep touching all the islands at the top, maybe end up back at the beginning and then go down to the lower islands. But we're just going to head straight because that's the easier path to navigate. Let's get our engine spinning up. But until next time, take care.